Okay, so I was thinking of something, you know, while I was while I was driving. Oh, good God. Other than the other ridiculous drivers. Um, indoctrination. Indoctrination. What is indoctrination? Well, if it's, it can't just be teaching somebody something, right? Because if you're just teaching somebody something, then they're just learning it. And that's there's what's the, there's nothing weird about that. There's no problem there. Indoctrination is going to have to be um, teaching somebody something that's false, right? And doing it so deeply and so profoundly that. It will cause them to respond to somebody showing them the actual truth. Um, they will respond to that very, very aggressively. Um, and this could manifest, depending on you know their personality, could manifest in all sorts of different ways. You could get kind of like a classic Karen sort of behavior you could get actual physical violence you could get they just kind of like retreat into themselves and you know put their fingers in their ear and say la 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 you know like depending on their personality um it's going to manifest in various different ways but that's i think the only reasonable sort of description or definition of indoctrination is going to be something along those lines where what you have put into another person's head via indoctrination is a, a very deep identity-based belief that is fundamentally wrong and is so powerful that they will um, behave uh, very, very uh, aggressively toward to being shown um, anything contrary to their beliefs. Okay, now I'm, we're all familiar, I'm sure, with uh, you know having seen people like this, all right? People who were a l were a little bit, you know, during the pandemic, uh, a little bit over the top about wearing masks, and on the on the flip side, people who were a little over the top about their freedom not to wear a mask. Um, you know, sure, <laughs> there's something happening there that's probably indoctrination related. Uh, but in the, the context of things that I've been talking about lately, uh, I wanted to bring it up with relation to mathematics. It, cause, because it, it strikes me as fascinating that we pretty much live in a world where everyone is universally indoctrinated the same way, right? It's trivial to demonstrate that one plus one is not always two. But nobody will admit that one plus one can be something other than two. One plus one is claimed to be always universally, 100% of the time, two. Or, you fucked up. And uh, something that I, I, I was going to say in a previous video, but I forgot about it, because uh, I got derailed, and I don't write scripts, because fuck that. Um, if our units are, say, dollars, or rubles, or rupees, or yuan, or some other currency, any currency, um, take one of them, add another one, you might not get two because of things like interest, right? So there's actually cases in your daily life where 
one plus one in the same unit does not necessarily give you two, right? So say I'm holding a hundred dollars in my bank account, or no, let's make it, you know, let's make it a little bit nicer because that's that's some poverty shit. For me, it's pretty real, but um, let's make it say. See, we're pretty well off. See, we've got $10,000, okay? $10,000 in our bank account, okay? And over the course of uh, some, some period of time, I'm able to deposit another $10,000 into that bank account. But, so you would think we have $20,000 in the bank account, but time has elapsed. This is an interest-earning savings account, okay? And time has elapsed, so I've put $20,000 in here. That's true. But the amount of money that I have is going to be greater than $20,000 because of the interest accrued. Okay? This is part of your normal daily life. <laughs> part of your normal daily life is dealing with things that don't add up, one and one being two. This is absolutely a part of your daily life. But your indoctrination prevents you from admitting it prevents you from seeing that is the power of this and I have had conversations where the other party is very very aggressive about this and saying that I'm I'm absolutely I'm being absolutely absurd I'm being absolutely ridiculous I'm stupid I don't know what I'm talking about and um, you know I'll use these same sorts of terms towards them um, I don't whatever I'm not really offended by this. I just find it interesting that I can actually show you easily that one plus one does not necessarily give you two, even in even when we're working with the same units. One plus one doesn't necessarily give you two, but you'll still fight it. That's indoctrination. That's indoctrination right there. That's the power of indoctrination. You were told as a small child that 1 plus 1 is 2, and you were told 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, so many times that you are not allowed. Your brain has shut off the, the capability to ever question this, even when shown repeatedly over and over and over in your daily life that it's wrong. You are incapable of accepting it. That is indoctrination. And it absolutely fascinates me that this particular indoctrination is global. <laughs> Every culture on the planet right now. Pretty much. I mean, other than perhaps some, you know, maybe like uh, Yanomami or some shit. Uh, some some little very isolated uh, tribal groups. Um, this particular indoctrination is global in scope. It spans virtually every human being that exists currently. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing to me. This is one of the most widespread religions. It's got to be the most widespread religion there is. That's a that's absolutely amazing. How do, you, how do you achieve success like this? <laughs> like, that's astonishing. Wow. And nobody... Nobody calls you out on this? Nobody sees it? That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs>